Hello, good morning, and welcome back to Six's Backcountry. Today we are going out to the farm. Um, we've been working on that 1971 Ski Doo Alpine that you guys know about, and I got to run up this old M8, make sure it's all ready to go to the hill. So let's film the load up. Let's get out of here. Let's go see how Dad has done on the Alpine, because apparently it's running again and it's running pretty good. And that's why you filled the load up. I need help. So those new uh, new car, oh look at that, look how shiny it is that you can't see. Look at those new carbides on this thing just tearing the hell out of everything. It's a good thing that I stuck these on because uh, I, like I like to just back it off the deck and my carbides are always getting stuck on here. So I put these on but I guess we're going to have to do all the ramps too if we've got a new set of skags on this baby. Alright everybody. Hop in the old dirty Chevy truck and let's go. We are off to dad's. We are stuck in the icy driveway. So hopefully the Alpine's running wicked today. I talked to my dad last night and guess what? Since we're coming out and doing a little uh, video with him, he's gonna put us to work. Now we gotta do trail clearing today too. Oh, we found some highway treasure, you guys. Hold on, I see highway treasure. I don't know why, but every time I find one of these on the highway, it never has a lid. I can see alpine tracks. <laughs> We're going to be sneaking up on them this time ever since we got our, uh, our leak replaced in the exhaust system. Whoa, we'll just back it up to the snow drift here and throw it off. How's that? Hey. We're preparing for a ride. So, the hood's up, seat's open. But it runs a little better now? Oh, it runs actually really well, but we run across a problem with the gears not shifting so well, being bit. I think that's just how these things are. But you've been ripping it around here and you no, said it's been uh, running pretty loop, good. We did a loop around there, it's pretty happy. Well, yeah. I got some fuel for it. Okay. So we can top it up. What did you do to it? What uh, what what have you done to it in the meantime? Well, the easiest in the meantime. Yeah, from the like, last time I posted. Last, well, from well, last because time. Because if you'd gone to Cal's gone fishing, I'd have shown you exactly what I did. Yeah, but we got to yeah. we got to do it here. <laughs> got to do it again. What uh, what have you done on here? <laughs> we did what we do. Uh, put in a new uh, fuel suction tube in there because we, we were getting air bubbles. So actually, I didn't. I pulled it out and it fell in, so I had to replace it, which is okay. That's good. Because we were getting air bubbles up into the car huberator, which is running a little bit better. And it still get air. I think it siphons back. And then we come, come over this way. And then we went after the infamous high-low. The high-low screws. These two babies. Yeah. And I found what the factory, test, uh, factory said, and they said one and a half turns out. And they were, one was half a turnout, one was barely over a half, maybe three quarters. So the thing was running lean, thus explaining the pistons. So they've been screwed with a whole bunch. But didn't well, you say, Willie, you said they had a uh, screwdriver or something, and every time they rode it, they fiddled. And so, yeah, fired right up and was pretty happy about the whole thing. I tuned it back to one and a quarter. Sweet. Yeah. So this is your machine today. Yes, it is. Because <laughs> I've got my own sheet machine to test out. <laughs> so you get this thing today. So this is mine. Got these weird snowmobile tracks going through the yard. Here you go. You can mix up some, uh, why don't you mix up some fuel, fuel for it? Some fuel. How much fuel are we making? Uh, I'm not going to say how much fuel we're going to make because I don't want everybody ripping on me for not running their interpretation of the right mixture. 
there are those that do that, don't they? <laughs> All the YouTube I'm, again. I'm, I'm going with you. You tell me what to run. <laughs> I'll tell you what to run okay. off camera. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right, yeah, I'll take that. Yeah, 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 I'll stick it back. That. Yeah, let's do this the smart way we can see the level. We decided on a mix that we're both happy with. Yes, we are. And we're going to run that. Got a new elbow for the GoPro on the CKX helmet, so hopefully I can be a little more in tune. I should be able to see it, see what you guys are doing. How's the rig over here looking? We're ready to go. Look at that, you got your chainsaw on there? The chainsaw's ready to go. You got the chainsaw on the workbench. Listen to this thing purr. All right, let's hear it. Let's do this. Do this. Almost, almost purring. Sounds good. All right, so dad did the fixing on that thing and he knows his carburetors being the old sled mechanic he is. And uh, now we're gonna go test everything out and I think we got some trail clearing to do. You gotta open up some trail. Okay, we gotta open up some trail before we can play with the machines here today. Oh, hey, check that out. I can see what I'm recording. All right, you guys are gonna have to get put away here for a sec before we get to our secret area. See you in a sec. Well? Oh, you just used the tweet. Okay, you're just playing with it? Okay. <laughs> oh, put our one scratcher down. Try to keep it kind of cool here. All right, we just got a little bit of trail clear in here to do to access one of our zones um, because of, partially because of the flood ice is so crazy this year. So uh, we'll get that knocked out of the way here quickly. Then hopefully we can make it to the river today. the old machine, huh? <laughs> what the doing? Oh, the give a crap is gone. <laughs> oh, only I take my mountain sled places like these. Let's get to work. Let's get to work. Oh, that's sharp. Okay, that should be it. Should be done trail clear in here and on the way to the river now. Are you happy with all that, Poopa? Very much happy. Raps. The old work sled back to work. <laughs> Sending it right back to what it's supposed to be doing. Well, it's actually more useful than the old 400EX, although I get everything on it as well, so. <laughs>
I'm just gonna go. He doesn't know what to do with his legs on that thing either. <laughs> oh my god, that's hilarious. Okay, let's keep up with him. Look at these tracks. Have you guys ever seen snowmobile tracks like that before? You're too fast on that thing. <laughs> <laughs> Still can't keep up to me. They always complain about that. No, never. <laughs> well, this would be a good little place to. Is this where you're thinking to run up sleds or what? Oh, you do? Yeah, I'm just. Yeah, I'll. You want. We what? Go right down to the end because my camera's down there. Okay, well, it's said there. Yeah. <laughs> you go put some throttle. I'll find the hidden ice shelf. this thing on we're gonna peel on her a little bit here I'm just gonna go but kind of beside behind you and just match your speed and we'll just see how fast we can go just well I mean it's got a new top end we're not supposed to be winding her out but what's the fun in that there's no fun in that wind it out I think it's a little fast but it's a warm day yeah it is pretty warm so I, I've just tweaked it a slight the tweaking the tweaking constant <laughs> tweaking with that thing this is where you end up at a half a turn out <laughs> well let's let's leave it like that let's that try it good. let's that just maybe good. it can run a little better but let's just try it <laughs> come on we're losing traction 30 31 
Your max are out there at 35. <laughs> not miles. That's, not. In, that's, in, uh, that's in so. I'm really plowing. Yeah. That's pretty cool. <laughs> How was it running? Fat. Fat? The, uh, the other day, yeah, it was a cooler day. And when I came, did the loop around, I came in front of Greg's and wandered out right into it. Holy <laughs> she might have got up to 40. <laughs> 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 that's moving like how fast do you want to go on that wow, thing that's as fast as you want to go yeah where's the camera at oh we got to take the trail back right uh cameras we'll go in right here all right <laughs> there rpm that's what we want to be looking at <laughs> Oh, I gotta get the mileage on it. For an M8 with almost 6,300 kilometers on it. Still freaking the ass. So there's, that's what I need to come do. I didn't mean to come make sure the slit worked. Okay, well, let's go goof off then. Okay. That thing looks so cool out here, man. Is <laughs> that close enough? Uh, I figured you maybe wouldn't really be able to turn. <laughs> He's loving the trapper special. Like everywhere that sled goes, I can just smell it. Man, I almost sold this sled. <laughs> oh, way. look at that anime hair. Yeah, I, uh, I almost, I say this every time, it's like I almost sold it and then I get to ride it for a little bit. And I'm like, nah, <laughs> I, li I like that sled too much. Yeah. Everything's working awesome in this thing. We did the reeds on it like yesterday or the day before or whatever. So we got the dual stage reeds in it now, which actually cleaned it up quite a bit. We're not quite making peak RPM, but well, man, we're like only like 50 RPM to 100 RPM off of it. So I'm just going to, I'm just going to leave it alone there, but I'm wound up. Oh, I know you're wound out all. I can't believe where you're taking this thing. <laughs> it, it doesn't. It doesn't steer with a grasp. No, I know. I know about the steering on that thing. Uh, we did all the ski. This thing steers really well, actually, because I got brand new carbides on it, brand new skags on her. The skid hasn't fallen out yet. Uh, this is the spot we were at in the backcountry here a few weeks ago. We're doing our winter camping survival sled stuff. This, uh, this isn't the exact same spot, but it's one of the kind of spots and the river still looks the same here today we've got the river turned right down because we've got 10 kilometers of this and they had ice jam warnings upstream ice i when you text me ice jam warning i don't even know what that means uh, this is the ice jams warning okay then next stop next stop we'll go to the other end a little trail riding Still running a little fat on that thing, but hey, a lot better than last time. Ah, uh, yes, only I make mountain sleds do this. Carry chainsaws and trailers and all this other sort of stuff into the back country. This thing starts a lot nicer than my turbo. Oh, there's the first, couldn't make the corner. could not make the corner. Transmission's a little finicky on that thing. He's done that 
to me since I was a kid, like talk to me beside his machine or my machine running and a helmet. And I, I, I just do what a good son does. You just nod at him and smile and look at whatever he's pointing at. And this is where we broke down on the Alpine last time. Oh, the sun's getting hot. Oh, here's some water. about the same as last time? About the same. Yeah. I'm happy every time I look behind me and I see you with your knees out on each side <laughs> rocking down the trail behind me. <laughs> At the opposite end of our zone here now, losing light as we get later here in the day. The Alpine's doing great. It's out here making its mile. And the white M8's doing good too, but it gets hot. Look at this place. It's so full of ice. I'll have to come back here in the summer. All right, we're gonna get out of the wind here and head her on back. Now that we've tested out the equipment, make sure it's gonna work for us good, send Whitey back to the mountains where it belongs, instead of bashing it out around out here through the trees and ice. Oh, end of the day view, that's it. Really pretty here in the foothills. Eh? It's not like the mountains, is it? And last time I said there's no way we'll have to tow, we almost ended up towing. Yeah, that's I'm where you got stuck. <laughs> That's what he got stuck See, on last that's time. That's why cut in close. That. <laughs> We're in the middle of the frame. That's what got the Alpine stuck. We will miss it. Okay. That thing does not steer oh. at all. Yeah, using using the bumper. The give a f with that thing is completely gone. <laughs> Hell yeah, that thing looks cool. Okay, there's going to be no breakdowns today. Didn't break down not once. Not once. <laughs> Yet. 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 <laughs> We're almost there though. Almost Kinda. There. Well, a little bit. She's a rascal. I'm gonna be sleeping good tonight. Yeah, that thing does not look comfortable or easy or really anything, but it looks good with the chainsaw on the back. Well, there's a trick to ride the front ski in the rut. So you go into the corner, put the front ski on the inside rut, and it carries you around. 
You don't do that, you're in the trees. <laughs> Alpine cornering 101. Alpine cornering, get that ski in the inside rut. <laughs> nice. <laughs> shelf coming up. Well, all right, that's pretty sweet. That's pretty sweet. That's pretty cool. That's a big hole, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> that's what I'm sitting on top of. Yeah, I'll go ahead and move that and, uh, and we'll figure out the rest of this. Yeah, we'll get you through there and then we'll have to flag all this off. Yeah, I'd say. Oh, a good eight feet deep hole to fall into. That's nice. That's why we uh, built this trail over here because uh, we couldn't access it the other way because of the shelves. No kidding. Is this what like the Brazu River riders are all about? Falling through the ice or whatever? Then, yeah, it's not first time. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <coughs> oh, and you lost the gas cap. Come on. Come on. I'll give a guy a hard time here. Used, a, used equipment. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> sorry. You got to give a guy a hard time here. <laughs> Watch out for big holes in the ground, kids. Okay, well, good thing we got Arctic Cat over there, light on its feet. Not like no heavy ski do. Okay, well, I'll just wiggle it through over there somewhere. Oh, you guys are loving the mop? I have not had hair like this in a long time before. Well, uh, I don't know what I'm doing with it, but I guarantee you guys that when I go to cut it, we'll rock a real mullet for at least a week. How's that? Well, it's a good thing that didn't happen any later in the day or else that would have been a little more fun. All right, that wraps up our time in here actually. So we're gonna head out. This is the area where we do those backcountry videos and we're gonna be back out here real soon. doing it in my clutches. Nice. So easy. Alpine is back in its home. Uh, minus minus one gas cap. We'll, we'll, we'll get that ordered up or we'll give ourselves a chance to find it on the trail there somewhere. No big deal. Well, that gas cap probably blew off when you're doing wheelies through eight foot ice you holes. You see me launching some of that <laughs> stuff there. That was good. I saw you grab a handful of throttle. All right. Well, Cal's gone fishing. Go check that out. We'll be back right away with him. And uh, Whitey's all good to go to the mountains now. And we'll be back with the Alpine. Yeah, I Alpine worked all day and I came home with nothing to do. Yeah. No so, wrenching on no the old wrenching. sleds this time. Hands are clean. <laughs> nice. <laughs> all right. Everybody in the pickup. We got to go. All right, awesome little day for a rip. It's always a fun rip with Dad, huh? That sled can stay in the back of the truck because we're only like a day or two or two and a half from taking it out, making sure that it heads to the mountains in working order. So we've been putting a bunch of work into that thing lately. Can't see it giving us an issue. Whitey barely ever lets us down. I mean, it's never been towed off the mountain. And us, what did, what did you say? We had 6,200 on it today. So in all that, it's never been towed off the mountain. It's limped off the mountain under its own strength. Three times that I can think of. 
And, oh, sorry, you hit your head there. We did it. We got it home almost without incident there. Uh, that's it. I'm gonna wrap up this video right there today. I'm gonna leave Whitey in the back of Whitey here because we're about to head out back to the mountains and back to cause some carnage, guys. So, thanks everybody for watching. If you like this video, there's, there's tons more like it. You can go check them out. And we'll leave you guys with a good womp it. We'll see you in the next video.